Hello, and welcome to another session on using the new Blender for video editing. Today we're going to talk about the speed control effect strip and what we can do with it. Um, so what it is, is a way that you can control how fast a specific strip in your video sequence editor plays at. Um, and in today's session, we're going to talk about how we can use that to get two videos that have different frame rates to play in sync. Okay, so on the screen right now, I have a video loaded up. Uh, it has a non-standard uh, resolution and aspect ratio. If we look at the uh, resolution here, it's 1280 by 536. So I've already got my scene set up with that exact uh, resolution. And in addition, uh, like we talked about in the previous video, uh, I've made sure that I have scale set to 1 for X and Y. Before we do anything else, let's play this video just so you can see it. So this is the scene that we're going to uh, work with. I have another version of this scene at half the frame rate. Okay, so this is the scene with the original 24 frames per second. So there we can see it there under frame rate. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to back up to the beginning and I'm going to add that second copy that runs at half the frame rate. So you can see right away with this new uh, video strip in our video sequence editor, it is half the length of the original. And if I just scrub through it, you can see there it is. There it is in its entirety. Uh, before I apply this new effect strip, the speed control effect strip, I'm going to adjust my scene so that I can have these two video strips stacked one on top of the other so that we can see how it looks as we run through it. So to do that, I'm going to go back up to the properties. Again, this is the output properties. That's where you go to adjust uh, your scene settings. I'm going to click inside the Y. I'm going, I'm going to take advantage of the fact that every single one of these fields is actually a little mini calculator. So I'll take that value and I'll just say times two. And there we go. So now we have our scene is now double the height it was before. All right, let me bring this down a bit and I'll zoom in a little bit more. And to this, first thing I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to click over here and select this original strip and I will adjust the position. I'll bring this down until it looks like it's relatively close to the bottom. Let me zoom in a little bit here and I'll keep dragging that down. So to adjust this value, I'm just left clicking and moving my mouse side to side. Okay, that, that's good enough. I mean, we're not, not trying to be perfect here. That looks pretty good to me. Actually, maybe one more there. Okay. And now I'm going to click back over here where we have both strips in action. Hit the home button here so I can see everything. And okay, this one I want to drag up to the top. So I'm going to click to select. I'm going to click on left click on the Y and this time I'll drag in the opposite direction. Let me zoom in a little bit over there. Okay, that looks good enough to me. And I'll hit the home button. All right, and now the final step is we have to change the blend mode because right now it is set to cross and that doesn't work for what we're doing. So I have to click on that and I'll choose overdrop. Okay, there we go. So now we have the two video strips, one on top of the other. So if I go back here and hit the play button, we'll see that yes, definitely one is going way faster. And here is where we can apply the fix. So to use the speed control effect strip, the first thing you have to do is have the strip selected, the, the strip that you want to apply this effect to. So I do have that selected. Now I can go to add effect strip speed control. So it's added this new strip and by default, the, the blend mode is something, uh, I think it's cross again or replace. So we have to go find that. Oh, it's replace. So we don't want to replace. We want that to be overdrop in, in this case because I want to be able to see what's underneath it. Okay, so here we go. So now we're back to overdrop. Now we can see 
it again. And as we, as we scrub through, you can see it actually looks the same. So when you first add the speed control effect strip, it will make that strip play based off of the length of the strip. So right now we can see that this strip is, it's half the speed of this one or half the length of it. To, I can stretch this one out and then it'll play at the same speed. It's gonna match, it's gonna match it out. So we're, we're relatively close, right? So if I jump back to the beginning and hit the play button, so it's not perfectly exact because these aren't two perfect copies of the uh, of the source, but you can you get the idea. All right, so let me show you that option. So here it is. If I, I click to select, and I will scroll up here and drag this out a little bit. So it is this option here: stretch to input strip length. So literally, you can set the speed how fast you want that vi that video to play just by adjusting the length of the strip. So right now I stretch it out to twice the length. So now it takes twice the amount of time to play. And likewise, if I wanted it to go even faster, then I can just drag it out and I can drag it and make it a shorter strip. And now it plays at double the speed that it had originally. Okay, so there you go, there's a, an example an explanation of how you can use the speed control effect strip to match frame rates of different uh, video strips that you have in your scene. Okay, so before we go, I wanted to show you one problem you might encounter when working with the speed control effect strip, and that is that it's not something that you can really cut. So for example, we have these two strips here, We've got them synchronized now in terms of playback speed, but let's say I don't want the whole thing. Maybe I only want the first two seconds worth and I don't need the rest. So normally you think, okay, I can just cut this, right? So let's, let's try that. I'm gonna go to the two second mark. I will select the strips. I mean, the, the original strip that was a different frame rate and then the speed control effect strip. Then I go to strip and I say split. And what do I get as a result? I'm going to just scrub across. And you can see it, the, the cut didn't really work. So um, this, this part is still playing. I don't want to see it anymore. So I'm going to click on this because I can see that that split did appear to work. And I'm going to press X to delete that. And I'm going to go back to here and say, I'm going to try that again. I'm going to have this one selected by itself. This time I'll just press K to cut. That didn't seem to work. Okay. How about if I have them both selected uh, here and now I'll press a K to cut. Okay. There we go. So now it finally cut, but now if I play it across, you can see uh, instead of keeping the first two seconds of adjusted uh, playback speed, it changed the frame rate on us again, and now it's playing the entire strip within two seconds. There is an easy way to get around this, and that's with using scenes, and we'll talk about that in the next session. Um, if you did like this video, please do give it a like and subscribe so you can see more content when it comes. Thanks, and bye now.